So three kids from AFA went into the woods. They went to make a film about some ghost that they'd heard about. And uh, I think it's ended up, you know, being a really sad story because that was 18 months ago and nobody's seen them since. Hi, I'm Eve and I've um, grew up on this stick, a stake getting told stories about this so-called Hylian ghost. I didn't believe none of it and I can't believe that people have been going around telling stories about how people have died. And these kids have gone out to find something that's not true. There must be some explanation for how they've disappeared. Um, hi, I'm Helena and I'm here with a group of friends from AFA and we're going to make a movie on the ghost of Higher Lane and apparently this, this on Higher Lane it's just haunted by this ghost. All, all the older people in the streets around here are saying that some sinister ghosts but I don't think we believe it but we're going to get a bit of proof now. We've got everything, but I mean, we don't, even, we don't even need all this because there's no ghosts, so what's the point in having it all? Hi, I'm um, Tracy Gallagher. I used to work with the children involved um, in this terrible thing. Um, it's been 18 months now, but I still can't get over it. Um. You're just trying to scare us before we go. You're probably going to be pulling pranks. Yeah, 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 you know, you know me. Yeah, you're probably pulling pranks, you're probably breaking let's twigs honest, and everything. Let's be honest, you're just scared. I'm not scared. You're not you're scared. Ridiculous. You haven't said you're nervous. Whatever. No one's scared. Look, let's face it, we're all, we're all fine. Yeah. If anyone's nervous, it's. it's Wait till we get there. <laughs> Stories I've heard, like back in the 90s, apparently some taxi driver was driving down there and this black thing jumped out in front of him and he crashed in, into the bushes and apparently it's happened to a few people over the years. They put these big stone ballards down now, so you know there's no access down, down that road. So why three kids would want to go down there and look for this supposedly ghost of Higher Lane is beyond me. But I tell you what, there's more to it than, you know, three kids just don't disappear, do they? Just because they're going on a ghost hunt, there's something more, there's something more to it. Hi, I'm Carol. I've lived on the estate since I was seven years old. Um, we heard of the Higher Lane ghost when we were about 12. We used to come along to the disco, which runs from Spadder Hall to Higher Lane. And um, there used to be lots of stories about a little boy who died there. He'd been run over because he'd been uh, running in between the cars. Um, we used to go along there mostly in October and scare each other. We are now in the woods, we're getting close and we're going to start our little mission. And it's very chilly so it's going to get me gloves on. Um, yeah, I've got loads of proof that the ghost doesn't exist and I know it doesn't. But we're just going to come in anyway. Right. Um, well apparently um, in the 1950s, a pedestrian, when this was a actual road, um, he got ran over at this very spot. There's the tyre. <laughs> and um, apparently he's haunted this place ever since. Hi, I'm Darissa. I'm the same age as the guys that went missing and on Higher Lane. And my dad told me a story back in 1995 when he waited for the cabs. Uh, I was a taxi driver in 1995 and was coming down Long Lane, Lanford Avenue, High Lane. It was in October, it was, I'll never forget it, when uh, 
caught me eye. I seen this little boy run across from High Lane across Long Lane. I swerved and missed the wall by inches. I stopped, got out of my car to see where this boy was, and I just seen the back end of him looking from behind the wall, laughing. So as I went towards him to see what he was laughing at, he disappeared. So I got home, told my wife, told the neighbours, and I found out what it was in the 1950s. It was a little boy who used to be a day and he used to run across the road, chasing people and across the road and missing the cars until his luck ran out and he was knocked over. And every October on certain nights, people have seen this little boy running across the road. And recently, they've, they've blocked High Lane off because of all the trouble with the, this little boy running across the road. So every October, I try and avoid Long Lane, High Lane to keep away. I take the long way round not to see this little boy again because I was traumatised, it was, it was horrifying and I'll never ever forget it. Um, shall we go in then? Come on. I don't really want to. Why? Why? Because they could be a ghost, but to be honest, I don't think they is. They could be, you know, you never know. Look at the disgrace, yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you scared now, then? No. no. I'm not too scared. I'm a bit worried. Worried? Yeah. There's another tyre. Where? Look there. There's the other tyre. It's too big to be on a taxi or something. Oh, okay. You could just stop trucks, though. True. Hi. Um, I've just returned from the police station after watching some footage. Um, some quite disturbing footage of the children that went missing um, who I used to work with. I still find it hard to watch um, knowing that I know these children personally. I can't gather from what I've watched what, what's actually happened. It's still pretty vague, but they are looking at it um, in more depth. But it's quite disturbing to watch because they're obviously frantic to, to get out of the woods and that something's upsetting them. Um, my heart just goes out to the family and I hope that they can shed some light on what's happened to these children. Um, well, in the book, it says there's a ghost. But, I mean, we need a bit of proof. What could we do? Well, there is no ghost, but... Actually, we can go and see if he has a grave. My grandad mentioned something about that, you know. You're just reminding me. I mean, like, he said there's, there's a graveyard over there. He said that like, there's a ghost buried there. What name, though? It was something like, it was Adam. I think it was Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. That rings a bell. <laughs> it was Arthur Richardson. Hi, my name's Courtney and I live on this estate. My mum doesn't let me play out anymore because of these three kids going missing. And my mum's not going to let me go out until these are found. But what type of ghost would kill people? Right, we're getting close now, we're well getting close. You can tell because there's a lot of old graves around here. My granddad said it was somewhere around here, you know. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, old graves at the back here, look. Yeah. One of these. Oh, for Richardson, this is it. Sure, what's the matter? What's the matter? We've actually found the grave. I didn't think we'd find it. I'm terrified. I don't want to go. No. I'm sick of this, you know, just when I go home, all this crap, I'm terrified, we just found this grave. We can, go, we can go home now. Good. I mean, I don't want to go home, it's not safe. We have to go through all the woods again, it's getting dark. I'll we have fine. to go through the woods, that's the only way back. I know, yeah. I don't want to. I told them to not go into the woods because I've heard stories in the past and um, since then they haven't been fired and I'm still emotional talking about it at this day. What's that? It looks like police tape. Come on, Sean. Come on. Oh, that, that's bad enough, you please say. It is. It says What are you saying, is Lena? Yeah, Sean, are you okay with this log? Yeah, should be. You're alright. Do you want me to get the camera? Uh, that, yeah, Sean, where's Chara gone? What? Chara's not there. Where's she gone? Yeah. What? Where's Chara gone? Chara! Don't 
Don't be playing games. Come out now. Clara? Clara, where are you? Clara, where have you gone? Clara? Where, where's she gone? Oh, no way. It's getting dark and everything now. Chiara! Chiara, where have you gone? Oh, my God. Do you think we're going to have to go and look for her? Well, we have to. She's off the entrance. Oh, Jesus. Chiara! Sean! Sean, where are you? Sean! I can't find Chiara anywhere and there's branches flying everywhere. What do you mean go. you can't find her? I can't find her. She could be dead or anything. And, and I've seen a shadow, so I'm sure someone's watching us. Someone's watching us? We have to go now. We're still all devastated over the three children that went missing 18 months ago. All the estate was out looking for them. Uh, the police, the families are still devastated. So now we don't go near there. Well, I wouldn't let my children round Higher Lane especially once it goes dark. Chiara! Chiara, where are you now? Sure, can you hear that? What was that? What was that noise? Sean! Sean, where are you going? I can't see! Sean, don't leave me! I don't know where they've gone. They've all, they've all just left me. And something out there, I know there is. I don't think I'm gonna make it now. Sean! Chiara, please! It's all my fault, it was my stupid idea. Now they've gone, they've left me, we've lost Chiara and Sean's just, just gone. I'm on my own again. It's all my fault. What was that? Oh God. <laughs>